Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be teaching you the reverse Zippo Top Pop. So if you want to get one of these Zippos, just go on to shoppertricks.com, shoppertricks.co.uk, order your collectible vintage Zippo lighter, and you'll be able to follow along with this tutorial. So without further ado, let's get into this trick. Hey guys, welcome back to the tutorial of the Zippo Top Pop. So, the reverse Top Pop. So this is one of the most iconic Zippo tricks ever. It's the one you see in all the films, the one you see in every way you see a Zippo, you'll just see the Top Pop. Top Pop, most iconic trick in the book. So right now, I'm gonna teach you that. So let's get into it. So the first thing you wanna know about the reverse Top Pop that's different from the Top Pop is obviously the grip. So the grip is, as it says in the name, reverse. So what you want to do is you just want to place your um, index finger and your middle finger just on the top of the zipper there. So when you've got your index and middle on the top of, or well not the top, but the bottom, where it says zippo, it's great. So you want to get your thumb on the bottom, on the lid, and then exactly the same motion as the zippo top pop, but just obviously reversed. And there's also a slight difference as you just saw there, you have to put slightly more effort to get the pop because you're working with a smaller um, hinge or pivot point. So if you're working with a smaller pivot point, you need more force to um, make the zippo come around. So that's the zippo top reverse top pop grip. Now, something you need to know about the zippo reverse top pop and the top pop, it will slightly de-align the hinge or disalign the hinge from the zippo. But if you do the top pop and the reverse top pop in balance it'll because reverse top pop it'll go that way top pop the hinge will bend out this way so if you do them in balance they'll it will stay the same so you'll have a perfectly good zipper so that's something to keep in mind there so I'll go over it one more time so make sure the hinge is facing to your right if you're right-handed and to the left if you're left-handed so then when you've got that make sure your thumbs on the lid index and middle on the zipper logo and then a firm push to flick the zippo down. Now, you have to put quite a lot of force, as I've said. If you don't, you'll just get something that looks like this. It'll kind of want to go, but that went, but it'll want to go and then it'll stay there. Same with the top pop. If you put a lot of force in, it'll flick and come back, which you don't want because you want it to come forward. So after you've done the zipper reverse top pop, where can you go from here? Now, in future tutorials, I'm gonna teach you the zippo finger pass looks like that so pretty cool just passing through your fingers and or you can just light it so without further ado I think it's time to pack up the shop 